Haunted houses can be a lot of fun around Halloween, but being in a real haunted house isn't something many people are willing to get on board with. If you think you can stand up to the challenge, these five most haunted houses that'll give you chills are all hot spots for ghostly activity and are worth checking out if you've got the guts to do so. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. La Isla de la Muñecas One of the stranger ghost stories in today's list, this one involves an island filled with dolls that have been dotted all over the island. They were, for the most part, placed by a lone hermit up until his death in 2001. He was the caretaker of the island for most of his lifetime, and his name was Don Julian Santana Barrera. The reason behind the dolls being laid everywhere involves a pretty spooky tale that goes back well over 50 years. The man was wandering around the island on his own when he stumbled across the body of a girl who'd accidentally drowned in the canals that snaked through the surrounding area. He also found a doll left discarded nearby, and assuming that it belonged to the little girl, hung it on a tree out of respect. He then retired to his quiet life, which, after that point, suddenly and mysteriously became a lot less relaxing. He started to hear strange noises and wailing permeating the woods around the hut that he lived in. These noises carried on unabated and terrified the man so deeply that he decided it was best to do whatever he could to help appease the spirits. His solution, it turns out, was to continue hanging and placing dolls around the island, desperately hoping that they would eventually help the girl's spirit rest in peace. It seems like it didn't help, as the man continued this tradition until his death. His body was found in the very spot that the girl was found 50 years prior, which was turned into a shrine to them both. People began flocking to the spot to pay their respects with the island now being a popular tourist attraction. People show up and drop off more dolls, with many of them hoping to hear the girl's anguished cries or see something out of the ordinary. Plenty of them have seen apparitions and heard strange noises, increasing the island's notoriety. It's located around an hour outside the borough of Xochimilco in Mexico City. Some people have claimed that Barrera made up the haunting to gain some attention after being alone for so long, but we don't think that's the case. The few people who knew him said that he was convinced that the dolls contained the souls of dead girls and that it was his duty to honor them properly. Number 4. Waverly Hills Sanatorium One of the most haunted places in the U.S. is located in Kentucky and comes complete with a brutal and gruesome history, with plenty of ghost sightings occurring within its walls. It was used in the early 1900s to help manage tuberculosis patients, but its history goes back much further. It began its existence as a schoolhouse. It was later sold and was finally adapted to become a hospital in 1910. The building was originally only supposed to hold 40 or 50 people. Expansions were eventually added to help the hospital take on more patients after the disease ended up getting out of control. Interestingly, it was almost turned into a prison back in the 1980s, which would have made for a harrowing experience for any inmates locked away in a haunted cell. There would be nowhere to go, which means it's a good thing that locals complained and ended up avoiding the site being converted. There are plans to turn the site into a hotel and convention center, which would similarly be a bad move if these hauntings happened to be real. We wouldn't doubt it, as the treatments that patients received were pretty rough and amounted to what was pretty much torture. Doctors didn't really know how to treat the disease, with options becoming more and more intense. Room 509 alone saw two nurses supposedly commit suicide under strange circumstances. One was found hanging from the light fixture, and the second jumped off a patio, although some people claim that she might have been pushed. Many ghosts haunt its halls, with the most fiendish being known as the Creeper. It's supposed to be one of the most terrifying things known on Earth, with victims who managed to escape saying the feeling they experienced while in its presence was downright terrifying. The ghosts from the aforementioned Room 509 also features more than the others, with the first woman, the one who hung herself, supposedly still haunting that very spot to this day. She can be seen in an infamous photo taken by ghost hunters that's very hard to explain away as anything other than seriously creepy paranormal activity. The Waverly Hills Sanatorium is known all over the world and has made its way into the plots of many horror movies and TV shows for very good reason. It's a spooky place, and we wouldn't want to get too close to such a ridiculously haunted place. Number 3. Tower of London 
Rising 90 feet above the ground and spanning 12 acres, the Tower of London is a magnificent sight. Tourists today can be forgiven, therefore, if they don't fully grasp the very real and tragic history of the place, which brought death and misery to so many poor souls. It dates back to the year 1078 and has been repurposed a number of times since then, with the complete rebuild occurring in 1285. It has since had a variety of purposes, although its use as a prison is what cements it as a contender in today's countdown. The brutal torture and murders that went on during the 16th and 17th centuries have gone down in history as some of the most heinous acts ever committed, turning it into a veritable tower of terror. The ghost of Anne Boleyn herself is even said to wander through the grounds, along with Henry VI and Lady Jane Grey, to name just a few. Daily tours take visitors through some of the tower, although many areas are off-limits to the public. Some victims have even been pushed and harassed by unseen entities, with some of them leading to minor injuries, although none seem to be overly violent. After so much gruesome stuff went down here, and with so many of those imprisoned being innocent of the crimes they were accused of, it's no wonder there are so many ghosts hanging around the Tower of London, and it could very well be the UK's most haunted spot. It is, at the very least, right up at the top of the list, which has earned it a place in our countdown. Number 2. Babenhausen Barracks this barracks, located in Hesse, Germany, was used during World War II and housed plenty of Nazi infantry during its operation. Even back then, there were strange happenings. Soldiers have mentioned a number of instances in which they picked up a phone to make a call, only to hear a strange woman's voice speaking in garbled, unintelligible words, as well as talking backwards. They weren't able to make any of these out clearly but they were obviously quite shaken by their ordeal, reporting it to their superiors. These reports were initially dismissed, although they were eventually taken a little more seriously as they persisted. Visitors today have made the same claims, although none have ever been officially verified as being true. What's most intriguing about this voice is that nobody seems to be able to tell if the woman speaking in German or English, which we think is a rather narrow viewpoint to take when she could just be speaking in tongues unknown to mankind today. Furthermore, if listeners can't understand her, what's to say she's speaking any kind of language at all? The city of Babenhausen itself has a legend that tells of a witch who was burned at the stake sometime in the 1800s. It's said that her spirit still haunts the area, and she's said to have killed a number of soldiers in the barracks as a way of lashing out at the living. A witch's ghost being a Nazi hunter sounds like something we can live with, but the reports of German soldiers in uniform that are sometimes seen lurking in the halls is a different story entirely. We get that not all Nazis were necessarily terrible people, with many people having no choice in the matter, but if we saw the ghost of a Nazi walking towards us in a dimly lit hallway, especially if he was also in uniform, we'd lose our minds and tear out of there looking like we'd gone completely insane. Babenhausen was also the site of a brutal mini-civil war that was waged between the last two of a family that were in line to inherit the land the city was built on. This was quite a brutal conflict, and it aptly sums up just how much bloodshed occurred in the area, making it an unsurprisingly busy place as far as ghosts are concerned. All this adds up to make Bobbenhausen Barracks one of the most infamous ghost haunts in the entire world, with ghosts that date back centuries. Nobody knows much about any of them, probably because nobody's willing to take the time to investigate any further when these terrifying ghosts present themselves. Number 1. Luang Siwu this national landmark in Indonesia was originally the headquarters for the East India Trading Company and has a long and storied history. Construction was completed in 1919. It's a massive building and the grounds and its name means Thousand Doors. This is a pretty apt description as it's filled with doors and archways. It has just as many ghosts that haunt it, with some visitors even dying after they ventured within. We don't know for sure if these deaths were connected with the haunting, but many people are convinced that they most undoubtedly are. It even has an extensive network of secret underground tunnels that are quite mysterious themselves, connecting the building with many different parts of the city, including the governor's house and strategic locations along the harbor front. When the Japanese occupied Indonesia, the building was used as a prison and place of torture, with countless people losing their lives in horrible ways. They were tortured and murdered, with plenty ending up being beheaded. One of the most prominent ghosts is that of a girl who supposedly committed suicide to escape the brutal torture, 
She's said to roam the tower, and most eyewitnesses have confirmed that she floats around without touching the ground, projecting an air of terror and despair. When it was first constructed, the building was seen as an architectural marvel, with it gaining high praise from some very important figures. Its beauty was then repeatedly desecrated and sullied throughout the years, and the intense torture that so many people suffered through cemented its fate. The number of ghosts that have been seen in the building are uncountable, with estimates ranging from dozens to the hundreds. Most ghosts seem to be relatively peaceful, but the visions people have seen are pretty worrying, and we'd be scared to death if we ran into many of them. The building has been featured on a number of paranormal TV shows, with plenty of photo and video evidence to back up the abundance of claims that people have made regarding spooky goings-on. Some of the ghosts, however, do get violent, with visitors reporting being pushed around, scratched, and bruised. There's also the belief that people have died after being cursed during visits, with one of them being a quite prominent paranormal investigator, ensuring Luang Subhu's legacy as a deathly disturbing haunted house. All right, Top Fivers, we have something very exciting for you to see. Make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant. If you like what we have on Top Five's Finest, then we know you will love what we have there too. But be warned, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There will be a link in the description to The Brilliant channel, so make sure to visit us now. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Come on, click it. You know you want to. Oh, and while you're here, subscribe also. Heard it gives you superpowers. Anyway, see you soon.